Andy Wells here, and on the phone with me, I have Ron Curry, the CEO of the Interactive Games and Entertainment Association. G'day, Ron. Hey, Andy, how are you doing? Very well. Now, I understand today is a very important day for you, especially because uh, for so long you've been pushing for the introduction of an R18 plus classification for video games. So tell me what's happened in Parliament this morning. Well, what happened this morning is the Home Affairs Minister introduced legislation that actually introduces an R18 classification into the National Classification Scheme. So what that's done, that's one of the two integral steps we need to secure an R18. The second is a set of guidelines that um, will define the parameters of what that R18 will look like. We're still waiting to see what that is and how that's going to come out, but certainly the huge step is the fact that the Minister has tabled a bill for an R18. Now you've been one of the driving forces behind this for some time, haven't you? We're certainly one of the driving forces behind it. There's been I was just chatting to someone saying it's been a, a, quite a large team effort to bring it to this point, but certainly it's been a large focus of uh, IGEAs for about 10 years. Now this decision, when, when it does uh, finally come through for us, that'll bring us into line with the rest of the world, won't it? It'll bring us in line as, in as much as we will now have an adult category for video games. <clears throat> what we will need to see and highlight again is what those guidelines look like, whether they're wide enough to be reflective of what the rest of the world considers adult um, content. Okay, and there were people who who were against having this, but I mean, what's your main point there, and why do we need a, an R18 plus classification for video games? There's always been this notion that if there was no R18 classification, then there'd be just no R18 content in the country, and we know that's just not true. And maybe back ten years ago, when we could regulate box product and what was getting imported, that may have held a bit of weight. But we know now that products just coming in digitally, we're downloading it, we're getting it in all sorts of ways. So what we're saying, if it's going to be here, let's at least identify it correctly um, so we know whether it's age-appropriate or not. And that works both ways. That works, is it appropriate for you know, a 12-year-old or 13-year-old? Yes or no? I think an R18 clearly says it's not. But it also recognises that gamers, and we know that 75% of gamers are over 18 years old, it recognises that they should be able to have access to content that's age-appropriate for them. They're allowed it in movies, they're allowed it in music, allowed in DVDs, so why shouldn't they be allowed in video games? Makes good sense, Ron. Now, now this has gone through Parliament this morning. What are the steps from here, and how long might it take to actually come into effect? Well, the Minister put out a release this morning that says it should be in effect on the 1st of January 2013, so about a year away. What, why it takes that long is that it'll need to go through both Houses of Parliament at the Commonwealth level, but through the House of Reps and the Senate, and be accepted. Then also we're going to have to have reflective legislation in each of the states and territories. So it'd be quite a difficult situation is if it was uh, introduced in an ad hoc basis around the country. So some would have asked, some wouldn't. The guidelines would apply here but not there. So it kind of makes sense to ensure there's enough time um, for all states and territories to have their legislation in place. And also for industry to have some certainty if they've got products coming at a certain point in time to know which set of guidelines or what um, classification regime is going to be in place at that time. All right, well, something definitely to look forward to. Ron Curry from the Interactive Games and Entertainment Association, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks, Andy.